Hello guys and welcome again to my YouTube channel, Roger. So in today's episode, I'm going to make a review on the units. So, I'm going to make a review about the unit from Arena 1, 2, and... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the training camp, the Glo Goblin Stadium, and the Bone Pit. So, uh, a lot of a lot of my friends play this game, and they been keep asking me, "How do you get to Arena Five? I I can't even get to Arena Three, you know." <laughs> uh, so they like to make me make a video about it. So from the basic one, as you can see here. The first card that you're going to get is all of this card from training camp, except for the epic. You only got one uh, on this one. Uh, so from basically, I'm just going to make a review about the basic cards. So the good basic card for me, I think that you can use for the long term, is of course arrow. Arrow is really useful. It can be used to attack enemies minion like like goblins, goblins, uh, minions, and skeleton with one hit. Boom! Hell uh, die. And the second best card is bomber. Bomber is also good. Uh, this 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 card this unit is really useful for fighting a, a group group of ground monster yeah so in the long term you will need to use this card for fighting barbarians uh, and a lot of people will use this one because it it can be it can be four unit and it got um, decent amounts of HP and it's really useful and then you got Archer I don't I don't use Archer I don't really use it too much but I know it's good it's a good card I mean you can use Archer or you can use uh, Spear Goblin I use Spear Goblin it's because it only costs 2 mana and it counts to 3 and it's I think I I think I like Goblin most other than this. And when you knew, uh, Knight, Knight is really useful. It only costs you 3 mana and it gets a lot of HP when you level it up. You can get up to 1.2k and it's really useful for you for the beginning. For the beginning of the game. But in the long term, yeah, I think it's, it's really useful because it hits really fast. Like as you can see here, it hits 1.1 second. That is pretty, pretty good. And then you got Giant, 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 probably the best newbie card that I got because I used this uh, until until now, I guess. But I just recently used it again because I don't really use it before. But now I, I kind of changed my unit, you know. And this unit is really useful for tanking. So if you got Giant and then you got you got Archer or maybe Goblins, uh, Spear Goblins, and then put some Skeleton or Minions if the enemy don't have spell tech like Arrows or Firewall. This card will be really useful because it hits the building instantly. And then you can back it up also with uh, Spell Magic, you know, when you put the Giant there. And then the enemy summon a minion or skeleton to hit the giant. Then you can use the spell to just wipe it all up. I mean, it got a lot of HP for level one too. It's okay. It's really good. And then you got musketeers. Hey, sorry, musketeers. Uh, this one is really good. Okay. Uh, you can use this for long term because when you play long term, the, the enemies will probably. Uh, what I know is they will be using this balloon, which is so annoying. <laughs> balloon and then some, 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 something like a rider. Uh, not, not really. A minion, minion. A lot of minion, like minion and minion holds. That's really, really hard to get. 
So when you, you fight a minion horde, they just kind of surround you and then hit you. But if you use Musketeer, it can shoot for the, for the long range. But you should remember that you don't put it where the enemy is. You put it at back so you can shoot. And it has a lot of damage. It costs 100 damage for level 1. It's really high and it's really good. And then you got Pekka. Pekka, 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 Pekka. Mini Pekka. Got a lot of high damage. Uh, I used this at the first first battle, yeah? Uh, when you knew and I recommend you use this mini picker for fighting against Giant. Giant has a lot of HP and it only attack building, so yeah, that will get you too. So my my opinion here is just you should just combine with what you think that you can do, you know. I mean you can't always win the fight. That's what I think. <laughs> you can't always win the fight because other people's strategies might be better. Might be bad. They they all have some plus and main minus. Uh, what do you call it? advantages and disadvantages? You know, each character is different. And then you got fireball, uh, the basic spell. Uh, this one is good for attacking attacking the enemy base. And then the, it's I think it's pretty much useful as arrow. I mean, what do you think? Is it fireball better or arrows better? Tell me in the comment. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to go through epic because uh, maybe I'm going to get through it really quick. So first we got Prince. Prince can charge the time. It does two times the damage when it's get charging. This one is really good against tower, but this one has a weakness. The weakness is yeah, when when you get your prince to other side of the tower and then the enemy summon like skeletons and then he the the prince probably going to die. It, it doesn't have a lot of HP. I mean it's it does, it just doesn't have enough, you know, to tank them all. I mean this is a really good card, but you must support it. Like for example if you use prince then you use minions at the back. That's great. And then we got Baby Dragon. This one is my basic character, so uh, it's really good. That's arena attack, uh, array attack. And then you can back it up with you got a lot of hit point. Yeah, it got a lot of hit point for for a uh, air air unit. Yeah. And then you can back it up with Archer or Knight. Our Marksman here is good. Then you got dun 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 Skeleton Army, which is really great. You can just use the Skeleton Army on the enemy, just boom, and then attack it, attack it all at once. But it has a minor, it minor, 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 minor disadvantages. Not minor really, it's big. You just hit it with arrow, or you just hit it with bomber, they are gone. But you can use this only skeleton army to, to wipe out the enemy tower. Yeah, it's really just you know, a strong enemy. And then my favorite epic beginner, which is which? It summons a skeleton, skeleton, which is a level 6 skeleton, which is, has a high level and has a high attack. Usually put witch at the back, at really at the back, and then the first you summon witch, and then you summon skeleton, and then just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, and then after that, in that section, before the witch uh, move after the tower, and then you summon barbarian or maybe giant, where's barbarian, barbarian. And then you can use. Hmm. You can use. Knight. Yeah, Knight's also useful. And then you can maybe use Baby Dragon. I mean, this. This card is really great. That's it about Witch. And. I, this is. 
But I didn't have it yet. <laughs> I want it so bad, but I haven't had it. Uh, you should back this car up with some tankers, or maybe just a small unit, or maybe with skeleton for me. Just probably swarm it. Mm, well, I guess I just end it there. I'm going to make another video about uh, Goblin Stadium, maybe? Goblin Stadium character. For now, maybe I'm just going to uh, make some video about the training camp because it takes too long. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe on my next video. I mean, this is. I hope you find this helpful and leave a comment or uh, uh, help me with subscribe or like. And I hope you. This. I hope this is helpful for you because a lot of my friends uh, don't know how to play this game and they really want to get to. Arena 3, <laughs> they can't even get to Arena 3. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm not being cocky. But <laughs> well then, uh, thank you for watching my video, guys. See you next time. Bye.